Hi everybody. Suppose we're interested in determining whether there's a trend in occupancy over time. And so in this video what we're going to do is you know, describe how we can do that using program presence uh, and also talk a little bit about the interpretation in terms of why we do it in the way we do. So firstly, suppose we've got a, a multi-year study. Uh, so on screen now I've got a, a bit of a, a video here going through the steps in presence. So suppose we've got data from a five-year study. And so I've got it set up here already as a project. Uh, so firstly, we're going to fit a, a multi-season model to presence. So we go up to Run menu, select multi-season. Um, and then the first thing we need to do is, if we want to fit a model where we have a, a different occupancy probability next year, we need to select one of these alternative parameterizations. So instead of the, the standard or initial parameterization that uh, is there by default in presence, we can select either the second or third parameterization. So here I'm selecting the second parameterization. And when I do that in my design matrix, I now have five different rows for occupancy, uh, one for each of their five years. Now, as I said, this is one of those alternative parameterizations where instead of just estimating first year occupancy and then seasonal colonization and extinction, we're going to estimate seasonal occupancy and then either colonization or extinction. Uh, but not both in this case. Okay, so to fit a model where we have a, a trend in occupancy, it's it's rather straightforward. All we do is that in the design matrix here for occupancy probability, we have a, a column of ones uh, in the first column, and then the second columns, we just insert the values 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And so essentially what that column is representing is, is time. Okay, it's the, the season of the study, or the season minus one if you like, um, and so by putting those consecutive series of numbers what it does is it's going to make occupancy, at least on the logic scale, uh, vary in a systematic way. Okay, so why do we do that? Okay, so the reason we do it uh, in that way is uh, it's based upon how we use those design matrices. So in those design matrices the way they work is that we move along each row and each row represents a, a column, sorry, it represents an equation uh, on the logistic scale in terms of what occupancy means. So for example, uh, in this case, uh, in that first row, if we move along that first row of the design matrix, uh, what that represents is the equation uh, logit of occupancy in year one. And the way we use it is we go along each row and we multiply the values in the cell by the sort of regression coefficient or the, the label for each column. So in this case it's it's one times a one plus zero times a two. Okay so that just becomes uh, the value a one. Uh, as we go along the second column, okay because one times a one is just a one and zero times a two is zero so it just becomes a one. Uh, for time two, again it's on the logic scale, we're saying occupancy at time two on the logic scale is again, go along each row and we multiply the values in the cells by the, the labels for each column. So one times A1 plus one times A2, so that's A1 plus A2. And for the third column, sorry, for the third row, Again, it's on the logic scale, we're saying it's 1 times A1 plus 2 times A2. So just A1 plus uh, A2 times 2, just changing the order there. And so on for the remaining uh, time periods, we have A1 plus A2 times 3. And then for the fourth one, it will be, sorry, for the fifth one, a1 plus A2 times 4. Okay, so what we're doing is if we look at this uh, series of equations, is that each row, we're just adding on an, a, an additional amount of A2. So for every one unit change in time, we are adding on uh, an additional value for A2. So what that means is that occupancy is going to you know, increase or at least change by an amount A2 for every one season um, over time. Or if I sketch that out for you, what we're saying is that um, here we have a, 
Logent occupancy on this scale. We have our time periods. Okay, so at time one, uh, we have some amount, which is A1. And at time two, okay, and that's sort of you know, going to go right across there. And then at time two, it's A1 plus some amount, A2. Okay, so that point there, that line, that is A1 plus A2, which is what we've got from our equation. Okay, so that's from our equation here at time one, it's A1 plus A2. A2 is this, this change. Okay, that's how different it is at uh, time two compared to time one. And then at time three, we've kind of got two lots of A2, and then three lots of A2, and then at time five, we have four lots of A2. And so if we look at this, what we have is we have this linear effect. Okay, so what we're saying is that, I should just do it in blue, uh, what we have is this linear ch change over time where the slope of that line is the amount A2. Okay, so my slope of this regression line and my trend line will be A2. So when I, I take that design matrix and I fit that to my data after defining the, the other components of the model as well, uh, I can look at the estimate for A2 and use that to make my inference about whether there's a trend in occupancy. So a value you know, close to zero would suggest there's no, no or little evidence of a trend. Uh, if it's positive, it would indicate occupancy is increasing over time. If it's negative, that would indicate occupancy is declining over time. And we can look at you know, confidence intervals on that, or we could use it for you know, a series of different models with and without trends and see how, different, how they compare and, and so on uh, and so forth. Uh, if you want to look more about how to interpret the results, you know, how would we interpret that A2 parameter, perhaps in terms of an odds ratio, you, know, you can look at some of the other videos uh, that I've done uh, where we talk about interpretation of, of coefficients from logistic regression. So there you go, I hope you found that useful. So if we want to fit a trend in occupancy, we can just set, set up that design matrix where we have a, a 1 in the first column, and then 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 in the second column. Same applies if we looking at fit, fitting a trend on uh, other parameters, so colonization or extinction or maybe detection, it's the same basic idea. So I hope you found that useful. Uh, until next time, see you later.